My name is Guy Palmer and I serve as the chair of the committee examining the Wild Horse and Burrow program uh, in public lands in the West. We've been working on this project for about 18 months and that is to understand the science and the best evidence that will allow us to better manage the horses and, and meet the mission and the goals of the program. What we started with was where we could find common ground among all of the stakeholders and the public and that is that no one really wants to see more horses in long-term holding. This is from an economic viewpoint. The costs continue to rise as horses are maintained in long-term holding. Secondly, this is not the vision um, th that is uh, associated with what the public wants to see with, with horses on, on these uh, wild lands. So starting from a common ground, what is the science and the best evidence that would support improving the program so that horses are no longer going into these long-term facilities? So with this kind of as a background, we really looked at both what science is needed, but also what the opportunities are to induce change at present. So the science that really underlies this is to better understand the populations on the public lands so that they can be better managed. We'll better understand what the actual number of horses are. This will allow us both to make sure that we're managing them for genetic health of the animals and the population. Secondly, it allows us to assess the impact of any strategies to control their numbers. So there are certain science that will not only improve our understanding, our ability to manage these horses, it will also make it more transparent so the public is more engaged in it. So in addition to the science that underlies all of this, there are current things we can implement now to reduce the, the growth rate on the horses. And we want to do this for two reasons. The first is, if the horses just continue to grow, regardless of how much rangeland is allocated to them, in the end, two things are assured to happen. That is, the rangeland loses its quality. It's actually destroyed for use for other wild animals. And the other problem with that is eventually the horses themselves will become ill and unthrifty um, due to inadequate feed and, and inadequate access to water. So in doing this, we want to reduce the growth rate to something that can be managed so the horses, rather than being taken off um, lands on, into long-term holding facilities, can actually be maintained on the land as a thriving genetic population, which is the goal of the, the program.